everyone. Welcome to another edition of Top Rope Talk. This Sunday is going to be Extreme Rules. We'll get to all of that later. I'm sitting here with Rigo Gray, as always, my friend. How and as doing? well, we're not only are we two today, we got another one. Yeah. Zach, welcome to the panel, my friend. Nice to see you. Nice to see you both as well. Can't really shake your hand over there, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, this Sunday we have Extreme Rules. Last night we had a great episode of Raw. A lot better than last week, I thought. I agree. Yeah, much better. Sure. <laughs> the other one was more just a... Uh, Everybody's tired. Now this one just, oh, you know, yeah, let's, pick- let's, let's now figure it out and push it back. Right, sure. right, right. Now we're picking up steam. So I guess we'll start at the top of Raw. Uh, Dean Ambrose versus Luke Harper went to a no contest in a pretty cool brawl. And then it got announced for a Chicago street fight this Sunday at Extreme awesome. Rules. What yeah. do you guys think? Not, not really exciting. I, I, the only reason I say it's not really exciting is because we've seen it before. We've, we've seen street fights before, and they're not, they're not great in the PG era. They, I mean, uh, I've, seen a, I've seen a street fight recently from TNA, and those are bloody who? And, at TNA. Who? Oh, I, <laughs> who? <laughs> oh, okay. You know, <laughs> that other offshore brand that nobody knows about? <laughs> oh, we're with vacation for a while. Got yeah, it. it's okay. Yeah, basically. Um, and... And that was a bloody mat, and that was in, actually that was in the Manhattan Center. I was actually there for that. That was it was so awesome. I think it was Abyss or somebody. I think it was Abyss oh, and somebody. The mask. Yeah, and then somebody else, and he put down nails and yeah. stuff. It was just awesome and bloody. Yeah. If they can go to that extreme for this pay per view, yeah. then I'll be extremely happy. If they can't, I feel like there's a pun intended. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually kind of excited for it, being the fact that uh, Harper and Ambrose are two like my favorites at the moment. Uh, I have a lot of favorites, as you can see, but they're two of my favorites. And I think um, when it comes to like hardcore, when it comes to just getting down gritty street fight, what better than these two guys? You know what I mean? These are the only two guys that wrestle in wife beaters and, 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 and uh, dungarees. You know what I mean? Like, I, think, I think they're perfect for this. Uh, Dean, Am- uh, Dean Ambrose, uh, in many of his pay-per-views, he comes out, he always has a weapon. He's always packing heat. You know, it's perfect. And, I feel uh, like the fact that both of them come from uh, CZW, the violent yeah. independent promotion. Yeah. Dean Ambrose has John Moxley, yeah. uh, Luke Harper as Brody Lee. Yeah. I think that's going to lend really well. So, I mean, like, like was if, the, saying, if the WWE will allow, allow them, that's the thing. Yeah. The WWE needs to allow them to, ex, to do it, you know, to imp- improv and, and improv. Right. Yeah, yeah, improv. They are very scripted now because well, it's so corporate company. Like what Zach said, you know, it, it may not be as, uh, as heavy, you know, it may not as be we like, would like want uh, it. yeah, it may not be like Eddie Guerrero and John Cena throwing each other in, into a car or whatever, but um, it, uh, <laughs> I get the rash. feeling that when it comes to the PG era, this is going to be as good as it gets. I do have an Eddie Guerrero thing to tell you, but we'll talk about it later when we're going down through, going down through the uh, Extreme right, right. Rules matches. Right. So good. let's move on with Raw, guys. For sure. So next up, we had the New Day defeating the Lucha Dragons via countout when Xavier Woods was holding the, holding the feet of, I want to say, Sin Cara. <laughs> exactly. They are now the number Bacha one. Mania. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that was planned. But either right. way, they're either now way. the number one contenders <laughs> to the W Tag titles, facing since our own kid on the kickoff show on Sunday. They got to stop doing that. They have Why? to put the titles on the actual pay-per-view. They can't put the titles on the pre-show. It gives no value to them anymore. That's a good point. You know? I mean, I would be happy if they had a, um, well, there was another match. I think it was Daniel, maybe maybe because Daniel Bryan's like neck is hurting him, put him on the pre-show, you know? Something well, like that. You know, something that makes more sense, like just a normal match, because you leave the titles to the pay-per-view subscribers. Right. It gives, it gives, you know, it's actually a really good point. I mean, I remember the good old days when they had, uh, uh, you know, Hardys, Dudleys, and uh, Edge and Christian throwing each other off of ladders and stuff like that. Like, that was a, a great pay-per-view, you know what I mean? And then it went from, like, you know, those, that was, like, the tag team, like, match to now just being a Well, a almost in a weird segue of you talking about Edge and Christian falling off ladders, that forced Edge to retire, which... We'll mm-hmm. get to why that's a relevant point. In longer in his career, though, not during Long that area. Much longer, None like around so 2008. It was it 2008, I think, well, no, around that time. I don't know. I think it was a little later. A little Either bit way, later. we'll get the dates on for that. Yeah, right. <laughs> As <laughs> Put well. It down below. So yeah. Triple H made an awesome announcement. He announced Tough Enough is going to be returning June 23rd live on the USA Network with a new format, new interactive um, elements. Rigo, I think you're going to sign up for this. Uh, I don't know if I'm tough enough yet. I might have to hit the gym a little bit more during the summer <laughs> break and start practicing, but uh, maybe we'll, we'll see. 
We'll see if I can My support is for a wrestler that I know, which I'm helping him make a video for this. It's, his name oh, really? is Matt Vine, That's and cool. he's, a, he's a friend from Chicago. And uh, he's part of this promotion called uh, Pro Wrestling uh, something. I forgot what it's called now. But um, it's, he, he, this guy is te technically awesome. He has his personality like he's Randy Orton. And uh, I think he may, you know, hopefully get in hey, man, for this shot. Cool, man. Maybe See he's tough enough to do it. Maybe he's tough enough. No <laughs> pun intended. <laughs> well, further into, into that promo, Triple H appointed Kane as, quote, unquote, the gatekeeper for the Steel Cage matches Sunday. Basically, that means Kane guards the door. I think that's just a fancy title. I don't think that's going to mean anything. No, but nothing. Transitioning more, Rigo, this is probably one of your favorite moments of the show. Yes, this week's WTF moment goes to Roman Reigns uh, getting interrupted by Bo Dallas. And I mean, that was pretty cool. I'm a big Bo Dallas fan, so seeing him come back was pretty cool. I liked it. With the but, goatee. Uh, with the goatee, which is cool. But I don't think the WTF goes to Bo. I think it goes to Roman, all right? When he picked up that microphone and said, Bo, leave. Like, that, that was... <laughs> that was insane. actually pretty accurate. That was the second. Yeah, that was the second time where a big guy picked up a microphone on Raw and 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 did a really high pitched voice. And uh, yeah, that, that was just uh, it was odd. You and can't forget about Goldust though. He's done that a bunch bunch of times. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, Goldust, you can see it. The guy wears a wig and you know he, he, <laughs> you know, he blows kisses to his opponent. And then gets well, electrocuted. <laughs> guys, let's. <laughs> and he gets electrocuted. So, <laughs> further down the match, you had Sheamus defeating Zack Ryder, talking on the mic basically the whole time, just toying yeah. with Long Island. Sheamus, own. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. You disrespected a Long Islander in New York. Not on Long Island. Lucky for you, not on Long Island, but in New York. And then you kept saying, I thought you New Yorkers were tough. Sheamus, if you want to come down to OWTV, and get in my face, I'll show you how New Yorkers get down. <laughs> you realize you're talking about a jobber, right? Doesn't matter. Oh, Seamus, <laughs> no, a jobber? Not, jo not Seamus, a Zack Ryder. Doesn't matter. <laughs> hey, hey, we, we take pride in our own. Yeah. Yeah. So I actually met him. He was, um, he was, in, he was, he was interesting. <laughs> Put it that way. Yeah, I, I, met him, uh, I met him a few times in a few Long Island bars. And uh, good guy. So, sort of. More so to... <laughs> More another issue which has gained a lot of controversy, I think, over the past two days. Um, Seth Rollins' is curb stomp is effectively banned backstage in WWE. It's not going to be used in any more video packages. It was taken out of his Titan Tron. Why? The reasoning being, or at least from what I read, is it's due the to hearing about this. all the concussions and all the lawsuits. lawsuits and everything come about. And it's a Exactly. Who, 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 who said a lawsuit? Who, who is this? They uh, have a pending lawsuit, I think, from three former wrestlers yeah. I know. Really? Yeah. I know Luther Reigns is one of them, but either way. Huh. There's a few of them. There's uh, about three guys already I know. What do you guys think about that? I mean, I think it's, uh, I think it's BS. Um, you know, it, it, it was one of my favorite moves, and to be honest with you, it's one of the most uh, exciting and uh, I think, like, easy to work with moves. Like, for example, look at Mania. Look at that, how uh, it went from uh, curb stomp to the RKO, and it, it worked beautifully, you know. That, that was awesome. Curb stomp is, is a great move, and, you know, it, it, to be honest with you, I, I'm not a wrestler. I know I shouldn't be saying this. I should be a little bit more sympathetic. Um, but if you're afraid of getting concussions, then this is not the profession for you. So let's go down the card real quick. Top of the card, Tyson Kidd and Cesaro with Natalia versus the New Day for the tag titles. Who's your pick? Zach? Um, I gotta say Natalia, actually. I think it's, I think somehow, if, if this would be a really awesome curveball, we can get her in the spotlight, and then it would just totally, you know, um, drive everything you think crazy. she's winning the tag titles? Tag titles? Yeah, I think so. Her and, uh, um, Cesaro and, uh, Kid and, uh, uh, what's it called again? And then, uh, and then the New Day with their, uh, diva, uh, Xavier Woods. <laughs> <laughs> Did I get that wrong? You, you very much did. Did I really? Oh, okay. You very much did. I didn't really see the lineup <laughs> of the tag title match. Because you know why? It's on the pre-show. So it's I shouldn't care show. about it. That's exactly. why. Um, my pick, uh, I, I, think, um, I think it's going to be the New Day. Uh, they got a heel turn, finally. Which yep. you and I were begging for. Uh, I agree. I think New Day is taking it. 
Zach, let's get you re some recovery room over here. All right, let's John see. Cena versus Rusev in the Russian chain match for the U.S. title. Who takes it? Oh, it's going to be Rusev. Rusev. I'm so excited for this because if he takes it, I'm dying. Because there was once, uh, I think last year, there was a leak of, of uh, Lana who posted a picture of the European Championship with the new WWE logo. That would be cool. So if this is accurate, Rusev will take the title. Win it, it and then change it into the European, European. title. Rigo, who do you pick? Uh, Cena I mean, or Rusev? I'm, Rusev, man. I'm, I'm Rusev since day one. Um, I would yeah. love as, it. As much as I would love to see it, I think Cena's going to take it, unfortunately, just because I think Cena's gained too much momentum in this program for it to be halted at this moment. And Rusev, as much as it, I don't think it'll hurt him as much as you guys think taking a loss right now. I mean, yes, he lost at WrestleMania. Yes, this would be his second straight loss. But at the same time, if he puts on a good match with Cena, which he will, and to Cena's credit, for as much flack as everyone gives him, he's been doing pretty good lately. He just released his shirts, too. He's not going to give those up. <laughs> <laughs> I think Cena's going to take this. I'll one. say this, though. I'll give credit to Cena for the first time in a while. He is bringing legitimacy back to the, the, US, U the US, US title. It's, it's exactly. just it's so, great. Next match on the card, hopefully, uh, is Daniel Bryan versus Bad News Barrett for the Intercontinental title. reason why I say hopefully, we don't know if Bryan's going to compete. Pending he does, Zach, do you think Bad News takes it? Um, in Daniel Bryan's current situation, I think so. If they want to they want to play safe in the long I run. I see possibly, unfortunately, them stripping Bryan of the match of the title and bad news facing someone and eventually winning. But if his if his injury continues, then they'll have to either just strip him or hopefully make a short match. Right. I mean at least give him the credit to at least try. I mean, you know, it, it's um it's extreme rules. Anything can happen. Um and it might be a little too hard on him. But at the same time, hey you never know. Maybe exactly. he will just come back and be like, you know what, that was just an ache I had. So <laughs> it was just a burp. <laughs> as of right now, Nikki Bella versus Naomi for the Divas title. Naomi just turned heel. Nikki Bella. Nikki Bella all the way. I, I'm excited. <laughs> I think they're gonna get the title off of Nikki, put it on Naomi just to further her heel oh, yeah. turn. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's, That's it's my time. pick. Her, her career you think is Naomi? Off. Yeah, her career her, she deserves it. Yeah. Her career is taking so off. next match you have Ziggler versus Sheamus and a kiss my arse match. I'm excited for that. That's that's I mean, with a little bit of hints of P G there, I think it's a great T V fourteen match. <laughs> um I I uh I honestly hope that uh, Sheamus does not win because I don't want to see that arse. That, uh, <laughs> so, uh, I hope Vince McMahon comes out instead, you know? Yeah, right. good old days. That's what I want. The Kiss My Arse Club. Yeah, I want the Kiss My Arse Club. I want Sheamus to be on the microphone saying, I'm not going to do it. Vince, get out here. And oh then, gosh. you know, the crowd goes wild. Either way, I, I think Sheamus is going to take it just because he just returned and he needs to continue his momentum. Unfortunately, it's at Dolph Ziggler's expense. Yeah. But Dolph Ziggler will be okay, man. Did you watch that Survivor Series? It'll be all right. It'll be <laughs> Next all right. up, you have Roman Reigns against Big Show in a last man standing match. Real quick. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll say, I'll say uh, Big Show. Show? Rigo? It doesn't matter. I'll, 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 uh, <laughs> I guess Roman. This is, a, this is a match that should have been on the pre-show. Thank you. <laughs> That's it. Either way, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Roman for it. And as well, Dean Ambrose, Luke Harper, as I touched upon earlier. And I wanted to point out uh, Eddie Guerrero versus JBL in the cowbell match at Great American yep, it Bash. Has, it has Fantastic the, match. I'm so excited for this bringing match. Back, bringing back an old, yeah, an old match card that they haven't done in a long time, which they should continue to do crazy matches like this. I would love them to see the pole, the, something, something on a pole match. No, yeah. no, no, keep Vince Russo away. Why? What do you think is going to happen with that match? What do you think is going to happen with that match? Hmm. What are your views on it? I say, as far as Ambrose and Harper, that Ambrose is taking it. What about you? Uh, Ambrose. Ambrose. Ambrose all the way. Uh, I, I love Ambrose. Um, I, you know, I would love for him I to take it, but I think uh, Luke... Um, Ambrose needs to take it only because he hasn't looked the greatest in his past few. He's the one with Wyatt. Yeah, he hasn't. 
uh, Seth, etc. So and my also, pick and also, if we look back at the history a little bit of before leading up to these events, we could see that uh, Luke is kind of jobbing a little bit as well. I don't well, want him to job. I, say I don't either. So I don't want. Him to, I never wanted them to break up in the first place, but they did. So. Either way, so the main match, Rollins or in steel cage match, Kane as the door man. Orton's RKO is banned. Real quick, Rollins or Orton? Uh, I th I'm hoping Orton and we see a new move, which we're probably going to see. Here we go. Oh, uh, Rollins, man. Day one. It Rollins would be really great, one. though. You know how, because you were just saying before that uh, the GTS is now, uh, not the GTS, what is it called? Uh, the curb, the curb, curb Stomp. Sorry, the Curb Stomp. There's two is, banned uh, moves that we're not going to see. Is banned, yeah. Well, not true, actually. Is the GTS banned? Hideo Itami did do the GTS. He at did. Oh, no, I, I was talking about the uh, Curb Stomp and the RKO. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. Speaking. Well, I mean, I would say that if, um, if anything, we should have had the curb stomp banned, and then we could have had well, Rollins hold on. The curb pushes... stomp is banned for, very, uh, for a very RKO different reason, yes. Storyline-wise, story curb stomp is banned life, yeah. for Back legality. Right. But here's the thing. Either if way, they were to have incorporated that inside the storyline, then it would be easier for Seth to get away from that move. Right. Either way... Guys, this has been a pleasure. I'm sure we'll be re reconvening again next week as we discuss the fallout of Extreme Rules. I'm Josh Richter. Rigo Garay. I'm Zach Feldman. Guys, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next week here on Top Rope Talk on OWTV.